McDonald's built the world's largest fast food empire on the back of six simple words. Would you like fries with that? And now you can do the same. In this video, we're gonna show you exactly how you can start offering one-click upsells to your customers, getting them to say yes and doubling or tripling your profits. According to the SamCart database, adding just one of these upsells increases your average order value by a whopping 68%. And this is your guide to putting that same power to work for you and your offers. My name is Scott Moran, I'm the co-founder here at SamCart. And in this video, we're going to cover upsells in four parts. How upsells work, how to design and create your own, how to add multiple upsells to any checkout, and some common upsell strategies that are used by us and SamCart VIPs to double or triple the profits that you keep. Let's dive in. We will begin with part number one, how upsells work. So first things first, an upsell is when you sell someone product A and then offer them a chance to buy product B after they submit their order. So let me show you a real example of that sitting right here. This is a page we actually will put the link to this page down below this video. It is in test mode, so you can actually test this out without being charged real money and play with this and see it yourself. On this page, I've already put in my email, my, my name, and this is the test credit card information that you can use. So it's 424242, repeating 16 digits, any future expiration date, any three digit security code, and just any five digit zip code. It doesn't have to be real. And then that will let you do a test purchase. You can see right here, we have two order bumps available on this page. So that's a Another way to get expansion revenue, but we're gonna focus on what's gonna happen as after someone submits their order, that's what an upsell is. So these are bumps, right? We call them order bumps right here. Upsells are what you show after someone submits their order. So I'm going to submit this test order and I'll be taken through three example upsells so you guys can kind of see what these things look like. But here's one right here. This is just, you know, someone made a, a longer form sales page. The customer then has the choice to go between two different payment options, in this case, quarterly or annual billing, right? So I'll go ahead and that and just say, yes, I want this. You'll notice their credit card is saved on file. There is no other information they need to add in. It's simply just saying yes or no. Uh, here's another example upsell. This is for a uh, physical product, like a supplement type thing. It's got uh, countdown timers and, you know, again, very simple page, but again, just one yes or no. That's all this is. So I'll say no to this one. And this last one is actually an example from one of our things, right? But just a quick video on a page explaining the offer, you know, you can add whatever you want. But a lot of these pages look very, very, very simple. I'll go ahead and say no. And I should be taken right to our thank you page, right? So that's an upsell. That's that's what upsells look like in real life. You could have one, you could have two. I believe you could have as many as 10, which is nuts. And I don't recommend doing that, but that's what an upsell is. If you're thinking, well, I only have one product to sell. I guess I can't use upsells. Guess again, because all of SamCart's top customers use upsells. It is the fastest way to multiply what you make on the internet. So here are 10 upsell ideas that you could start selling immediately using stuff that is likely just sitting around already on your hard drive. Idea number one, sell a one-off coaching call. Charge someone 50 bucks to talk to you for an hour about whatever expertise you might have. Idea number two, charge for a coaching program where you bring people in, you meet monthly or weekly or quarterly or whatever. Charge for your services, your coaching program. Idea number three is to give priority support. Maybe there's access to a special Discord channel. Maybe it's just priority email support that you're gonna go into a different queue. Priority support, a great thing to upsell. Idea number four is an upgrade to yearly billing. If you have something that you're selling monthly or something that you're selling weekly, quarterly, whatever, let people upgrade to yearly billing and spend more upfront. Idea number five is done for you services. Whatever services that might look like for you, it costs you absolutely nothing to create an upsell page, selling a service, and then deliver it when someone buys. Idea number six, access to an insider community. Maybe you have something inside of Discord, or maybe you have something like a private Slack channel, or maybe you have something in Circle or something. Charge people to join an insider community. Idea number seven is a bundle offer. If you're selling someone a course or an ebook, why not bundle in other things that you have and let someone say upgrade or add on additional courses, ebooks, whatever it is that you might be selling, create a bundle offer and let people upgrade to it. Idea number eight, sell people more of the same thing in a different format. So if I'm selling an ebook, maybe the upsell could be, I'm gonna ship you a physical copy. Maybe it's gonna be upgrade to go get a course of that same content. Maybe you could upsell someone an audiobook of the ebook or course that they're reading so they could take it with them on the go. Idea number nine, 
cheat sheets, guides, templates, PDFs, anything that would be considered a companion piece of something that they just bought. So I'm buying a course. Maybe the upgrade is going to be done for you templates that are going to be helpful with whatever the course actually covers. And idea number 10 is any accessory to your main product. So think if you're selling a grill, what are the equivalent of grill tools that you might need? Someone's buying something now. What's that next thing that Amazon might recommend to them as they are checking out and figure out what that is, create an upsell around it and sell it. And boom, now you have tons of offers that you could use in your next upsell. All those ideas cost you nothing and a lot of them you could start selling now, even if you haven't gone underground and created or sourced whatever the product is, things like services or creating a quick PDF, something you could spin up in minutes and start selling on very, very quickly. All right, so now you have ideas of what to upsell. Let's think about it like this, right? The fancy name for these might be a post-purchase upsell because you're letting your customers buy more after they place their order. On the checkout page, you have already collected their order. Their order is locked in, the customer has been charged, you are moments away from delivering whatever it is that they might bought, and then you send them to an upsell page like this, right? So don't confuse this with order bumps, which is something you add to your cart before you buy, right? This is what happens after someone buys, but that's also what makes it so powerful because the one-click technology right? Your customer's credit card is stored on file and that's what makes it so powerful. It's like when you buy something on Amazon, your customer makes a purchase, their card is automatically stored and you are just letting your customers go on this mini shopping spree because it's literally one click easy to go and buy more stuff. All they have to do is just click this button. Yes, I want this. No retyping their information. Super, super simple. An upsell page like this one or like this one I showed you before is not a place for them to choose a different payment method or add coupons. They're not adding this upsell to their cart for later confirmation. It is the moment they click yes, their credit card is charged. And like the example I showed you before, if you want, you can show multiple upsells in a row. A series of upsells we call an upsell funnel. So you think of it like instructions that you give to Sam Cart will serve the product you want to show first. I want to show this one. And then second, I want to show this physical product. And then third, I want to show this one. As many as you want to do, you can do. We might not recommend it, but you can show a customer up to as many as 10 different upsells if you really want to. Although the huge majority of our top sellers stick with one, two, or three. Going much longer than three upsells usually ends up with a lot of people just saying, that's enough, I'm out of here and closing the page. All right, now for the complex part, and that is a downsell. So what is a downsell? A downsell is an upsell where your customer has declined your upsell. Make sense? You got it? When a customer says no to an upsell, you have the option to show them a different offer than if they had said yes before they keep moving forward. We call that a downsell. And so if I open up inside of Samcart and go to show you an upsell funnel, which we'll revisit this in just a little bit, but you go to your offers tab, you go to the funnels area, and you can see this is where you kind of decide and dictate, all right, cool. First, I wanna show someone upsell number one. And if they say no, I have the option to say, all right, cool, now show them this upsell offer before moving on to whatever's next, right? And so we'll get more into this in a little bit, but everyone starts at upsell number one. And if a customer says no, you can choose to maybe show them a different offer, right? Which we call this this spot right here is down sell number one. In the exact example we have right here, again, everybody would see this first upsell offer right here, upsell number one. People who say no would go to see down sell number one. People who say yes would go right to upsell number two. People who said no would go see down sell number one and then also go see upsell number two and then be done. So it's just sort of an optional. If someone says no, Maybe I want to show them one more thing. And we'll talk about some of the strategy that goes into why would you use that here in just a little bit. Once your customer reaches the end of your upsell funnel, they will always be taken to your thank you page. You might be using the Sam Cart order summary page like we showed you right. It's already gone. That's fine. We showed you before we went to that Sam Cart order summary page that says, thank you. That's great. Or maybe you want to redirect to a page on your site, or maybe you're going to send someone to the Sam Cart auto enroll that drops them into Sam Cart courses. Whatever you have set up, that's where someone's gonna go after they finish all the upsells you've set up in your funnel. You can get pretty complex with the setup. It's good to have options or you can keep it super simple and literally you could have as little as one upsell. I wanna show everybody one upsell and move on, all good. But like we said, one of these upsells is a game changer for your profits. Just know that if you wanna get more complex, you have the option to do so. Okay, you have a pretty good understanding of how upsells work. Now let's create your very first one. 
First thing you need is you need a main product. So I'm selling product A. You have to have product A created, right? Then for whatever you want to charge for the upsell product, it'll be, we're going to upsell product B, right? You need to have created that product separately. So it has its own price. It's its own product, right? There's each time you want to sell something, that's its own product, right? So let's go ahead and check this out. So inside of Sam Cart, everything starts and ends with the products tab. That's it. Okay, so this is my main product. If I needed to create a second one, all right, I would all I would need to do is click new product. I'd give it a quick product name. I'd give it a description. I would decide how I want to charge the customer, right? Maybe your product is a subscription. Maybe it's a payment plan. Maybe it's a one-time payment, right? I'll go ahead and make this one a one-time payment. If you don't have a second product, pick an idea from the list we gave you a couple minutes ago and then follow me and do exactly this. Go to your products tab, create a product, give it a name, give it a price, done. You have a second product. All right, now we're ready to launch our first upsell. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna open my main product. So the first thing I'm offering somebody, right? In this case, this is called the perfect proposal. That's what this is. So find your main product, open it up, click and go over to the offers tab. Now, mind you, Sam Cart offers tab is only for people on Sam Cart grow or up, right? So if you're on launch, go upgrade. Your very first upsell you add will pay for the upgrade for the year in the first month, right? It's going to be super, super fast. Anyway, go ahead and click add an upsell right here. And then from this drop down name, right? I have a couple of upsell pages created. You won't have this, right? So if I was just going to create my first upsell, I would do exactly that. I would say we've made it very, very easy. Okay. I'm going to say create new upsell. I'm going to give it a name. So in this one, I don't know, we'll call this upsell number one. You probably put the name of your product or whatever you're selling there, but from this list, you now choose that second product. All right. So let me go ahead. I'll say I've got a couple of consultation calls. I'll do that. I'm going to do a consultation call for $100 and I can even change the upsell name to say, I can go ahead and give this thing an upsell description, right? And I can decide to say, Hey, show purchase confirmation or hide additional payment options. I'm going to quickly give this an upsell description because it's just a good practice to when you create a product, Add, a, add an image, give it a quick description uh, because it will be used on the upsell page. There's my quick description, just describing what this is and why someone might wanna buy it. The purchase confirmation toggle is basically, it's gonna show next to the add to order button, right? So it says, you click on the add to order button and then it's, it will say something like, I confirm that I want to add this to my order. It's, it's basically just, it's going to make someone confirm twice. It's going to make someone click the button and then they have to confirm again. So I'll leave this on so you guys can see this. And then the other one is including additional payment options. And so additional payment options is if your product has like a payment plan, right? So maybe the product that you're selling is you want to offer two options. Like one is pay in full and the other one is break it up into four chunks or monthly billing or annual billing, right? That idea is, again, you can check out another video about how to add payment options to any product, but that's this right here. Where'd it go? Here it is. So this is payment options, right? And you could have three, four, five options like this if you wanted to right on the same page. I'm going to leave this off for right now because that's not what I'm doing for this product. And just like that, I'm going to click create. Okay. And I'm done. All right. Our simplified upsell template, right? Actually uses the product's name, the product's image, which I have not uploaded yet here and can actually just create you a very, very simple upsell page. So if I preview this page, you'll see exactly what I mean. And so if I want it to be done right here, I could be done right here. Same card has a very simple upsell template that just uses your product's name, your description and a product image which you can edit any time by going to this product's settings and messing with it. So if actually I was going to click to open up this product, and if I wanted to add more, let me do exactly that. So I'll actually add a description, a product image, and then go back and show you how that default template changes. All right, so now that I've added a description and a product image, if I go back to this upsell preview and just refresh the page, you'll see again, a very simple upsell template. Sam Cart's pulling in the description, is pulling in the image, right? And you could literally move forward with exactly what you have right there. And just as a quick side note, get in a good habit. Anytime you create a new product, give it an image, give it a description. These items are used on upsell pages, they're used on order bumps and more sort of around Sam Cart as an app. But with what we've done right here, we just created our first upsell. Someone goes to buy product A, they would now see this very simple upsell for product B. Now, if you wanna add more content to your upsell page, you could come over here, right? And we could click on edit upsell. This is actually gonna open up the offers tab and sort of open up this individual upsells page. But 
you could do this. You could add more specific content to this page. You could open up the, you can come over here on the right. And this is where you could go from using the Samcart simplified template to switch to build your own is the button you want to put. And that's going to open up Samcart's drag and drop builder. And so this is where you could go design your own whole page, right? I could do things like, all right, we're going to drag in a headline. We're going to, you know, drag in a video right below that. We're going to, you know, decide to put in things like FAQ widgets or a countdown timer or media grid. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do with Samcart's drag and drop builder. I'll just kind of, you know, again, I'm not going to spend a ton of time doing this kind of stuff, but clicking through messing with all this, you know, there's a lot of different options that, that you guys could choose from and roll through here. And you could do a whole ton of different stuff to add videos and headlines, sales bullets, product images, all this stuff. Samcart will automatically add in the buttons that someone needs at the very bottom of the page to accept or decline the upsell. So you don't need to worry about that part. We take care of that, but it's your complete discretion to add in all kinds of other, you know, videos or templates or anything like that. Again, we'll link to some of these upsell examples that we showed. We'll link to some of these below the video. You guys should be able to click and see these previews where you can see now, right? Here's a headline, sub headline and a paragraph dropped in a video, and then just kind of have like, image text image text and that's it this really simple one right here again headline dropped in a countdown timer another headline image and some text and that's it this one is even simpler is a really really great uh, you know example of of high converting upsells honestly a lot of ours you'll see a lot of our top customers too are just a headline with a, a video right you just record something on your computer Hey guys, thanks for buying. Come check this out. Which by the way, we will link to, we have this thing called the ultimate upsell script, which is basically like a fill in the blank, mad gab kind of script for writing an awesome upsell that's going to convert for you. So we'll leave that down below this available for download for you guys. Go check it out. Ultimate upsell script. If you're ever like, what do I say on a page? You could copy and paste it as text. You could use it as a video script and record something really short, but Super, super awesome for what do I say on an upsell page? Use the ultimate upsell script available for download down below this video. Once you have a page design that you like, remember you can always save it as a template, right? So if I come back over here to uh, settings, I could click save this design as a template. I'm not going to save this one because this stinks, but I do have a bunch of other templates that we could use. So I'm going to go ahead and just use one of our other templates and it will delete all this stuff. And here's a great template that we've used in one of our other pages. So make something one time that you love and save it as a template. You can do this anytime on upsell pages or sales pages. You can really easily inside of the builder, you know, edit a mobile design and see how the mobile design looks and sort of make edits to mobile that don't show up on desktop, right? So you can make sure it's perfect for users with any device. But once you're done and ready, just click on publish. Samcart will go ahead and save that design. And now your customers are gonna see a totally different kind of page. I can click preview to see exactly what my customers will see when they land on this page. Yeah, scroll down to the bottom. Again, Samcart always takes care of the accept and decline buttons. You don't need to worry about that. And your customers will be able to use these buttons and click on them the next time they come through this upsell in a live order. All right, part number three, how about selling multiple upsells in a funnel, right? We call that a funnel. To do that, let's navigate from the products tab. Let's go back to the main product we're selling, right? So again, in our example, we're selling product A, right? It's called the perfect proposal. And we're going to upsell products B or C or D inside of an upsell funnel. So what we do is we're gonna go back to this product. We're gonna click on the offers tab. And here you can see this single upsell that we've done, right? This is great. We created one upsell, but if you want to sell multiple upsells, you need an upsell funnel. Like I said before, you can have up to 10 upsells, five upsells, five downsells, and send customers through all those things, okay? To switch from one upsell, which is what we have here, right? All you need to do is come over here and click switch to funnel. Switching to a funnel will let you then choose from any funnels that you've created, right? You won't have anything in this dropdown, right? So what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna click manage funnels, okay? So managing a funnel, comes back here, you create individual upsell pages, and then you drop them in order in a funnel. That's how you do multiple upsells. So let me just go ahead and do a new funnel, right? You choose the, the currency you want to use, which again, it's just get, probably going to match your marketplace currency. That's fine. Funnel name. I'll just call this, you know, test upsell funnel. This is just for your own edification. You can add a quick description. It's not shown to customers or anything. It's just sort of for your own memory, essentially. Here is where it always starts with upsell number one, okay? You notice I can't add anything 
beyond adding upsell number one, right? So every slot in this entire upsell funnel is optional except upsell number one, okay? The first thing every customer will see after they've purchased your main product is whatever you put in that first spot, okay? So in this example, I'm gonna say, all right, cool, we're gonna use contrarian yearly membership is the first upsell I want someone to see. And if you ever wanna see it, right, you could click on this edit button and it would open it up so you could take a look. I also wanna show everyone, right, something, I'll put in upsell number two, call it the deep clean, okay? And that's just another upsell I've created. And you could go back and create more upsells to have more things in the dropdown, whatever you need to do there. I could stop right there and click save changes, right? The idea here would be that everyone would see contrarian yearly membership and then whether they say yes or no, they would also then all see this, the deep clean, the spot in upsell number two. Remember, downsells are optional. If someone says no to one of these and you want to show them something different, like let's say contrarian yearly membership. If someone says no, maybe I wanna show them one more thing before taking them to upsell number two. Then I would come down to this downsell spot and put something in that spot. So now with this upsell funnel I've created, people are gonna see upsell number one. And if they say no, they'll see upsell or downsell number one and then say yes or no, they will all see upsell number two, right? Or someone comes in on upsell number one, and if they say yes, they will skip the downsell and go right to upsell number two and see that before then being done and they're out. As you can tell, you could get really advanced with this and go all the way out and add a whole bunch of upsells and all this kind of stuff. We don't recommend that, I recommend keeping it keeping it much, much, much simpler. Keep it to two or three offers. It doesn't need to be much more than that. At this point, I have upsells, I have them contained in a funnel, and now I just need to connect this to my main product, okay? So I'm gonna click Save Changes. I've now created this funnel, it's called Test Upsell Funnel, and I'll go back to my main product, okay? So go to Products. One more time, I'm gonna search for my the main product that I'm selling. I'm gonna go back to the Offers tab, right? I'm gonna, it didn't save changes, there we go. So I'll switch to Funnel, and now I'm going to use that funnel from a drop-down menu. So Funnel Test, Test Upsell Funnel, that's the one I had, <laughs> yeah, there we go. And I can click Save Changes. And now when someone buys my main product, they will go through the upsell funnel I have chosen. They'll see all of those upsells, they'll see them in a row, and then they will move on to the thank you page I've selected. Now, for an advanced seller, if you want to split test upsell funnels to optimize average order value and customer lifetime value, SamCart can make that happen, okay? You can automatically split test between different funnels. The only way you have to do that is create the funnels you need, Right, so I created my test upsell funnel. Maybe I wanted to test another one where, I don't know, upsell number one is a different price or something and see how it works. All I need to do is create the funnels you need and then just click this split test button, okay? Split test, split test, split test. I can do literally as many as you wanted, right? I could split test as many different upsell funnels as we want. Samcart will equally slot customers, it does a 50-50 split, or a, in this case, a 25-25, 25-25 split, right? It will split test customers equally between any upsell funnels that you choose, okay? And then all you need to do is just click save changes, okay? Anytime one isn't working, you just click remove funnel, save your changes, and now there's fewer upsell funnels to kind of split test against, right? When you start making sales, then you can go to your analytics tab over here and see how your upsells are performing. So if I go over to the analytics tab and then I come over to the upsell tab, this is not going to show us any data, but you would have all the data you need right here, right? You would have how many people have gone through it, right? How many views does it have? How many conversions does it have? Meaning how many individual upsells were accepted? You would see declines, you would see abandons, which is when someone closes the page instead of saying yes or no. All of this data is separated out from your main sales. So you get a clear picture of what's working and what isn't. Okay, so here is a an upsell funnel inside of a, another test marketplace that we have where you can see some actual data, right? So you can see how many views, how many conversions, how many declines, how many abandons, how much total revenue, the overall conversion rate. And then really this cool one is customer value. How much is this upsell funnel adding to the value of every customer, the average order value that you have, right? And I can actually open these up and I can click to see an upsell funnel and you would see individual numbers from each offer in that funnel. So this upsell funnel only has one offer, so that's fine. But if I go back in one of these, I will see if one of them has more than one. Hopefully this one does. 
Nope, just one. None of these upsells have more than one offer in them, but if they did, if it was a funnel and had a series of them, you would see each upsell's individual stats. So you'd have a great idea of, okay, upsell one is doing this well, upsell two is doing this well, things like that. But the power of split testing those upsell funnels is virtually limitless. It is wild what you can do when you can split test those things. It's the only way that you're going to guarantee you're getting your highest average order value and your highest lifetime value at the same time. We have covered what an upsell is. We covered how to create it. We covered how to design the page. We talked about how to string them together in a funnel and then connecting that back to your main product. So all of that's good. Now let's go over some expansion revenue strategies that we've used and our top customers use to increase average order value and multiply your profits. Strategy number one is something we call the 3X rule. And this one comes directly from the same card database. So the 3X rule says that you should allow each customer to triple what they're spending with you. That's how you maximize average order value. That's kind of that sweet spot, right? So if your main offer, product A, sells for $500, you should allow, through order bumps and upsells, the right customer to go spend a total of $1,500. Most creators don't let their customers spend anything else. They sell something for 100 and that's it. They sell one product and that's it. Or they offer like a bump, maybe an upsell, depending on what they're using, but they might only let customers spend an extra 10 bucks total if they say buy everything else that they're offering. Not every customer is ready to spend more money, but the ones that are will change your business forever. Strategy number two is called the pay plan downsell. So we talked to you guys about what a downsell is. Now let's talk about the strategy of why would you use it? So maybe upsell number one is, hey guys, join my coaching program for $1,000 for the year. Sounds good, but a thousand bucks is a lot of money. So why not offer a downsell off of that? So just for people who say no, that says, hey, by the way, I saw you said no to my coaching and I totally get it. A thousand bucks is a lot of money. Why don't I let you get in there easier and do four payments of 250 bucks? That's the payment plan downsell. Hey, I get it. That's a lot of money. Why not break it up? Uh, kudos to Ryan Dice and the team over at Digital Marketer was the first place we ever heard this and something that we see working over and over and over and over and over and over again. Some variation of this has been used to sell anything, services, physical goods, events, coaching, courses, everything. It is tested, it's effective, and it can double the amount of people who are jumping on your most expensive stuff. Again, we'll put a quick script to the payment plan downsell that you can use in the uh, description of this video. And finally, upsell strategy number three is called the foot in the door method. The idea is really simple. Sell something inexpensive. Your main product, your main offer, whatever it is that you're selling first should be inexpensive. And as that, think of it as like, you're getting your foot in the door, and then upsells is where you're letting your best customers spend more money. This Something of this idea is the biggest key to scaling your online sales, right? Regardless of what you're selling, is you sell, again, shout out to Perry Belcher is another digital marketer folk, is one of the first guys I've ever heard, he was talking about selling guitar picks and candle wicks, right? If you wanted to sell a ton of candles, why not find someone who wants to buy a ton of candle wicks, right? And then you sell candles, it's like, you're gonna find that person. Or if you wanted people who are really interested in buying guitar stuff, like I've got guitars and a mandolin back there on the wall, is sell a hundred guitar picks for nothing, right? And you're gonna get a ton of buyers that are ready to maybe buy some guitars, right? And so the foot in the door method says, sell something inexpensive, then use bumps and upsells to sell more expensive stuff and make a bunch of money back from these things. And in that, is really the key to scaling. It's something that I would dare to say almost every single one of our top sellers does some variation on this idea. And that is the power of one-click upsells. Whether you are selling courses or services, physical products or event tickets, adding one or two upsells is going to double your profits. When you give your customers a shot to spend more, that's exactly what they do. And here at Samcart, we call all that sweet, sweet extra profit expansion revenue. And upsells are your fastest way to cash in. So what are the questions you have left about upsells? Let us know in the comments below. Would love to hear from you and answer some more questions that you might have. Add one-click upsells and a whole host of other profit-boosting features to your checkout flow by using Samcart. 
You can sign up for a free trial and test it versus your current checkout by visiting samcart.com and getting started with a free trial today. And if you're someone who knows that your time is crazy valuable, come and talk to our implementation team about a done-for-you account setup. We will bring over your best-selling product so you can test it against what you're doing now and get the results first while we do all the work. Our implementation team only works with a small number of product creators every single month. So schedule a time and talk with our team now at samcart.com slash done for you. But expansion revenue is the name of the game and upsells are king. Cash in today by launching your first one-click upsell. I'm Scott Moran. Thanks for watching.